Welcome back, everybody. I just had to show me snuggled with Winnie because we did in not indeed not have didn't sell her um, <laughs> because we were supposed to record on Friday and I can't remember exactly what happened on Friday, but something clearly happened. I remember Friday. I don't remember any day of the week except for game day. <laughs> um, so here, she's still here uh, and we have bought a special guest to make up for it. Miss Karis, we love her. <laughs> After making her surprise appearance in the last episode, this was highly anticipated, highly requested. <laughs> so yeah. we're excited to have her, but um, first let's hear from our sponsor, 310 Rosemont. If you're looking for some awesome apparel, shoes and accessories, uh, head to 310. We were just there literally an hour and a half ago. Um, so we obviously love it and you guys will too. There's so much stuff. Um, they're also, sorry, Karis. <laughs> <laughs> They're also doing a, give yeah, a giveaway that will include two free tickets to one of our games. Uh, and that's being posted on Wednesday, February 7th. So make sure you guys check out their social media um, and mention Queens of Castle if you go uh, at checkout for 15% off. It's located on Main Street. Um, Y'all need to see Winnie's legs right now. Winnie is sprawled. She's parallel, so I'm going <laughs> to sit in her lap just to be We're so close. in frame. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what's going on around here. Uh, and make sure you guys look at 310's Instagram. Um, but yeah, we have to obviously address our guest. Uh, how tall are you? I'm 6'2". A 6'2 freshman from... Connecticut. Yeah. Karis Baker. Yeah, Karis Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Connecticut. Uh, she just got new Valentine's Day nails. Yeah, she I did. did. That's a fun fact. Do you have any other fun facts you want to share? Um... Anything that when people look at you on the court, they're like, I know this piece of information about Karis Baker. Oh, I'm minoring in French, everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what? I actually we, we, that. Okay. Wait, have you always been doing that? Or? Yeah, I've been doing it since kindergarten. I've been no, okay. I meant oh, <laughs> <I'm> minoring <laughs> in it. <laughs> no, 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 don't flex, babe. It's too late now. Um, I started minoring in it this semester. Okay. So I'm, like, a, yeah. I'm a sports media um major with for, a minor in french well can you do something with that or is it just you're just for funsies just for funsies i just wanted to keep it going because i was oh. like i'm not gonna stop yeah, in high school, school. Well, wait or are you fluent um like kind of really don't whisper we're on a podcast sorry <laughs> kind <laughs> of <laughs> except if you see me don't ask me to say something in french i'll get nervous i'm just sitting here and if you guys know you know i'm struggling with german right now i need one class to graduate and it's german and I, I put my heart and soul into it, and I can barely form a single sentence. And here she is saying she's a French major. Okay, shut up. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Uh, okay, if I said that to Karis Baker four months ago, she probably would have, like, shut down. Say, yeah. So we'll get to those questions later. No, but we should talk about how Karis is probably, like, the sweetest. The sweetest. Like, oh, my God. Most nervous little cutie. Like, you really remind me of myself, but you're probably nicer. Guys, that is. What'd you make that face for? Pinky up. Um, I just like being really nice, <laughs> and everyone on the team is so nice. Like I love <laughs> everyone. I love everyone on this team. They're all amazing. Do you mean that? <laughs> I do. Who's your least favorite? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. No. Um, no, there's no beef with anyone, so that's good. And Karis would never say anyways. No, she wouldn't. Sweetie. Never. Um, that sucks. I want the tea. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, let's recap. get into the recap. Um, we had a couple more games, not six like we had last time. I'm, I'm actually proud of our... What? Just two. Just two, yeah. I'm proud of us for recording like a week later. It's been a hot minute since we've done that. So mm -hmm. uh, shout out to it's us. It's about the little wins in life, guys. It's about time you just stop and smell the roses. And we just are uh, enjoying every minute of the life we have. <laughs> what is wrong with this? What do you want? I'm so confused. <laughs> Anyways, we played UVA on Thursday. Yeah. Great crowd. Free bacon, free biscuits. Oh my god. Put yeah. the bacon in the biscuit. It was sold out. That was insane. Um, I don't know. It's it's really incredible to see the support that we've had lately, and hopefully we can keep that up because we only have three more home games, guys. Isn't that crazy? So you have to show up before I'm out of here, and then it's Karis and Karis Georgia. Time. Georgia question mark. I'm sure loves will have to wait and see for that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah, three more home games. So if we could like pack all those, that would be really Oh, awesome. also, um, y'all got to check Twitter because a little birdie said that we're not going to sell out for a particular game. <laughs> so. 
It happens to be the senior night game. It happens so. to be on senior night. I senior like, afternoon. Yeah, I feel like we definitely need to sell that one out. Um for multiple reasons but first let's is there anything else to talk about with the uva game i do, i was just gonna say i feel like uva is always like a scrappy game because obviously it's a rivalry and i feel like everything just gets thrown out the window and it's like all right let's just fist fight but i think we did a good job um probably left a couple of points on the board and maybe yeah you know let them get away with a few lucky had, ones yeah. but we had a few really good runs i think we pushed it out to like i don't know we got yeah. about 20 or 18 yeah. at one point um, and then they, you know, came back a little bit, but I think overall it was a pretty solid game. Yeah. Do you have any opinions, Karis? Um, it's just so crazy playing in Castle. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is so cool. Like, I used to watch it last year, and I'd be like, wow, like, there's so many people there. And, like, every game now this year has been, like, crazy. Yeah. Wait, it's did you so come fun. to games last year? I came to the UNC game last year. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I did. What happened in that game? You guys won. It was really <laughs> like, close. It was, it was really game, close. But game. It was it was a nail biter, but it was yeah. fun. It's it always really a nail fun. biter. Oh my gosh, um, it always is. Speaking of UNC, you played them on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, yeah, over time. Does that feel like yesterday? To you no, guys? no. I feel like no. last week. That's how noon games be doing that though. Like I feel like I had three days after the game yesterday. I literally because when we get like our names called out and like introduced, and then we have like a cute little huddle like before like the tip off. I literally looked at the girls. I was like, guys. Not gonna lie, don't want this to go to overtime. So can we please do everything in the power to make it not? And sure as anything, overtime resulted in our first overtime game of the year. <laughs> hey, we learned lessons, yeah. and we got a W. So I we got can't some extra complain. conditioning. Really needed that. <laughs> and it's always hot in there. North Carolina is just like thick. The it's air even. is very thick. Is it, it wasn't as bad as last year though. Uh -uh. Last year there, I thought I was gonna uh -uh. pass out and uh -huh. lie on the floor for and probably the, hours yeah no it was really 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 sick but that was also like i think we played them like second last game of the season at their place because it, really? it was them then it was georgia tech and then it was yes. done yeah so it was like later in yeah. feb which i guess makes a difference in temperature i don't know but probably. yeah we definitely played them earlier this year but yeah over time sorry to make it a nail biter guys you can see i mean it was fun i think uh we just missed so many shots just to keep oh it my interesting God. <laughs> How was your film today? I didn't have it. Mine was fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shit, stuff happens. <laughs> I know. I'm just okay, which means that now we are, what, solely second in the ACC? I think so, yeah. Which is pretty cool considering last year we weren't, like, oh, we maybe, like, tied third or fourth or something. I think, yeah, by the time last year we had had, no, I know we had four. Four? Yeah, because we, in February we didn't lose Sweetheart, we already had to have four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, Notre Dame, Clemson, Miami, and Duke. Duke. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two conference losses right now. We're nine and two. I'm pretty sure that's that has to be the best start uh, in program history, which is really, really cool. Um, we obviously have a tough slate of games coming up. We have to go to NC State this Thursday, which will be tough. They play Louisville tonight, though. Which will be really, watch. really interesting to watch. Louisville's first in the conference, uh, and then it's us and then NC State. So one of those teams is going to pick up another loss, but one's going to pick up another win, which will make it you know, a little challenging. But Are they playing at Louisville? I don't know. Uh, uh, it's play for K, so I feel like it's at NC State. It has to Because be. they always have that. Yeah, it has to Because that was us last year we played the play for K, ESPN. Oh, was that? Oh, yeah, that was so fun. That was really fun. Um, Yeah, that was us. Wow. I guess they picked Louisville this year. It's all good. Um, that game be, wasn't interesting enough. Yeah. And it'll be... She farted. Oh. And she, as in the dog that's sitting behind me. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see her. Is but she's there. No, Why'd you lean in for a sniff, babe? <laughs> Let it hit you. Like, you just searched for trouble. That was <laughs> what saying? Oh, have you been to a game at Reynolds before? At NC State? No, I haven't. It's really cool. It's, it's different, yeah. It's really cool. No, the gym is really awesome. But they, uh, the women, yeah. like the men don't play there. It's like the women's gym. It's kind of like Carolina, I guess. They oh. have their own. Gym if you knew that. It was like wrestling and volleyball. Yeah. Um, you know about the Dean Dome at UNC? You've She's never literally heard of not from, Dome? yeah. No. Uh, the men play in a different arena. Oh, oh no, yeah. But they were I did see the that. Yeah, they were, yeah, I did see that on yeah. the TV. Yeah. On the TV. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that'll be fun. It'll be, it's like, I don't know, their fans. It's very close environment as well. Yeah, it's like on top of you. Yeah, sort of like it's very, very loud. It's really cool though. I I do enjoy there. playing. It's there. pretty. Yeah, it, and like that, that makes you feel like you're playing like 
aside from Castle, obviously, that, like that, I'm like, okay, this is college. Yeah, it feels like, like for sure. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure it'll be a good game, guys. Uh, we always play, you know, them pretty close also. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be fun and a really good opportunity for us to get. Because what are they ranked this week? Five, four, two, three? Three. Three. Three? Are they still three? Yeah. Holy crap. Wait. It's literally South Carolina, Iowa, Iowa and NC State. NC State. I think they're three. Yeah, they're three. Okay. Can- Where's Kansas State? Did they climb up too? Oh. Anyways, they, they don't even matter to us. They don't even play Kansas State. I'm just interested in the rankings. No, it's so yeah. interesting. It's, yeah. Um, we jumped one spot this week, guys. Woo! We went from 17 to 16. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if we keep winning, you know, we'll keep going up. And we're on a five-game winning streak. Ooh, that's the biggest in the conference. Wow. Yay. Let's go, guys. Wow. Um, yeah, this conference is crazy. It's insane. Yeah. It is insane. Cool. So that's what we have coming up. What else? Uh, who knows what's on Sunday? Who cares? Uh, we got to get NC State on Thursday. That's all that matters. Um, but I do know something that's happening on Sunday, and that's the Super Bowl. <laughs> so let's go Chiefs. Who are you cheering for in the Super Bowl? Karis Baker? I don't know. I I just want a good game. You want a good game? But Liz is a is a Chiefs fan, so go Chiefs. Really? <laughs> you do that yeah. for me? Yeah. Well, that's so sweet of you, Georgia. Sweet, I'm going for Usher. Okay. That's a good one. That's There's bad. always that one person. Oh, this is a good question. Am I allowed to ask questions? No, yeah, please. Yes. What do you think his intro song is going to be? Ooh, it's either gonna be like a throw, like a throw throwback. Yeah. Like, if it was me, I'd be peace up, A Town, for real. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be. I think it has to be, unless he saves that for like the end. Yeah. Mm. I was. Thinking I wonder that. what his set list is gonna be because he has like some good like slow songs, that's but I feel I'm like saying. he, I feel like he's gonna do like two because that's what didn't Rihanna do like she did diamonds at the end, but for me that's like slow. Yeah. Like she brought it all together with that, but the start was like a song that like wasn't as popular, but like had a bit of. Be- I don't know. We'll see. I'll be bumping and dancing and bumping will around. Will it compare to Rihanna or no? Nothing will ever compare to Rihanna's so halftime good. performance. I was screaming. It was so good. Ooh, okay, let's play. Blood a game. curling. I know what you guys are all gonna say. Kiss, Mary, kill. Uh, what was it? Beyonce, Rihanna, and Taylor Swift. <laughs> Kiss Beyonce, marry Rihanna, kill Taylor Swift. Yeah, that's mine too. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry, Liz. I'm just it's not, not real. I just had. I don't really listen to Taylor Swift that much. That's fine. I'm getting into it though. Like the songs you play, I like know the words now. <laughs> and I dance to that. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. See, you guys, she's just a very empathetic very person. Yeah. I love you, Chris. Okay, I also want to talk about what TV shows we've been watching lately, because I've been watching Love on the Spectrum, and it is just an incredible show, and I think everyone needs to watch it, and it really makes my heart happy, and I don't know, makes me feel good about life and humanity. Yeah, it's very kind. I've watched like two episodes of that, but I haven't really been watching a whole lot of stuff, because I have homework, and then I literally spend eight hours on Fortnite a day. Fair. Karis? Um, yeah, I haven't really watched anything. I watch H2O, the mm. old show. I watch a lot of old shows, like mm-hmm. iCarly, Drake and Josh. Oh my god, that's so good. When we're on the plane, I do see H2O on your phone. <laughs> uh, your phone's just in my face, basically. It's right there, so I can't not watch. Sometimes I turn around to see if anyone can see my phone. Like, I would not judge. judge. I would not judge. I'd probably watch too. I'd be jealous I don't have any headphones on. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. I literally watch it. Thank you. That's a great show. That's a great taste. I'm very impressed that someone born in 2005? Four. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You're so mature. Uh, 2004 watches Drake and Josh. Because did you watch it? Are you 19? Up? I did watch Drake and Josh growing up. Because that's still like, plays on Nickelodeon. Yeah. yeah, but not like, it wasn't like my like number. Like, it would just be on. It wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to go watch Drake and Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't. What are you still behind me? I want to lean back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I'm sorry, Karis. You're like not. No, it's, it's okay. Okay. No bars. Um, I'm fully laying on her. The gra- The Grammys also happened yesterday, which this isn't the crowd to talk about it with, but Taylor Law or Taylor announced a new album, The Tortured Poets Department. So that's exciting. Um, we all got clowned and thought it was reputation. Thank you, Karis, for cheering. Ooh. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> I'm very curious what it's going to be like. Um, also, no con lost best new artist. So basically, I'm going to cry later. Um, but it's okay. <sighs> I think that's it for a recap. Anyone else have anything they just want to talk about? I've got nothing to talk about. 
curious. I don't She's have been with my bros. If you ever have questions for us, please ask. That's awesome. Thank you. I was a little nervous to ask, but guys, I always wanted to be on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Okay. Um, hearing from our next sponsor, uh, Phillips Real Estate, Dave has another Blacksburg home hitting the market. This one, a five bedroom, 4,100 square foot home in town limits for just under $700,000. The address is 1704 Hollow Oak. Call or text Phillips Real Estate at 540-346-4552 for more info on this home or to find out how you can get Dave's help selling your home in the New River Valley, hosting open houses, and even have it advertised on this podcast. That's 540-346-4552. Thanks, Phillips Real Estate. We love you. Okay, now to one of our favorite parts, Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokie House. Head down to Hokie House, listen to some great music and have some great food. There's a jukebox on the second floor. Go play your Song of the Week or mine or Georgia's or Karis's. Karis, we'll give you some time to think of your yeah. Song of the Week. And then we can go first. Georgia, do you want to take it away? I've got two. <clears throat> sure. Love the Way You Lie by Eminem and Rihanna. We played that in the locker room for UVA and then before UNC. Unsure. Really weird song to play before the game, but it got us in the right mood. Mm-hmm. And then one of the students made a video of Liz and I a highlight and it had a song by, uh, I think it's Baker in the background. It's called like Right Here For Now or something like that. But I love that one too, right now. Yeah. Was that the first time you heard it? Yeah. Yeah, same. I don't know what it was, but that that edit was Sick. fire. Was so so cool. shout out to whoever did that. It was so good. Would love to know. Shoot us a DM if it was you. Yeah. And don't lie <laughs> if it wasn't you. Yeah, no, that was so good. Um, Hokies WBB at Hokies WBB has been going off lately. So shout out to Chase and everyone else that works on that. Um, yeah, it's also just really fun when we win because there's so much content to post. Yeah. Um, so yeah, my songs of the week, I have two, 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 two. Yeah. <laughs> Solar Drive at Night by Tory Lanez. I, I just, we broke up for a little bit and now we're back together mm-hmm. and I love him again. Um, and then also Luke Combs's cover of Dive by Ed Sheeran is so good. Um, the weather's been making me feel like a country gal. It's mm-hmm. been like warm. I wore a tank top today, literally all day. Um, but the sun's been shining and it's been beautiful. Karis Baker. Okay. Um, so this is a throwback. I'm a big Drake person. That's another thing. I love Drake. Like mm-hmm. I love him. Wait, can we throw back to earlier in the year when we were about to go to his concert that night? Yeah. Oh my god. But we had practice. On- yeah, we had. It was on a Friday, and we. I think we had practice. But we were talking about it in class. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, we were in the same God. class. We yeah. were literally sitting next to each other saying, I will go right now. Freaking out. I was freaking <laughs> out. But we didn't go, sadly. But it's okay. I love him. I have a pillow of him in my room. Thank you, Mackenzie Nelson, for getting that for me. <laughs> Mackenzie, wow. Yeah. Mac. That sounds crazy. Mac delicious. Mac. Mackie. Do you call her Mackie? What do you call her? I call her Mac. Does, yeah, I was going to say, I haven't I called her Mackie in a while. Yeah, I, I don't Mac. know if anyone calls her Mackie anymore. Oh, I do. That's all oh, I call her. Mackie. I call her Mackalicious. Mac. Does yeah. she not like Mackie? No, she does. She like tells people her name is Mackie, but I just call her Mac. Mac. Mackalicious. Mackalicious. I love Mackalicious. Strack attack. Sea <laughs> <See> breezy. <laughs> I like that. Strack attack. Um, okay, sorry to interrupt you. Drink. Okay. Best I ever had. Mm-hmm. Drink. Classic. Good throwback. Love that song. I listened to it today and I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a good song. Yeah. <laughs> it's as yeah. it hits. Do you have any more? We both had two. Can you think of one on the fly? Is that too much pressure? Um, you know what I listened to? What? Stick season. <gasps> oh. I just started Ooh. listening to that. And I actually really like it. Like you brought up Noah Khan and I was like, wait. No, he's so I good. To talk about him. He's like my favorite artist right now. Like Jeez. I listen to him way more than Taylor right now. Really? Yeah. I like that song, Stick Season, Noah Khan. No, I'm Ooh. obsessed. With, okay, I can send you a whole playlist. Perfect. Please this do. is awesome. Um, yeah, that song rocks. Okay. Yeah. Now let's hear from our last sponsor, Adjust in RV. We want to tell you about something that's been a game changer for us. Dr. Brooke at Adjust in RV, your local chiropractor near Virginia Tech, is on a mission to help all of us live our best lives through chiropractic wellness. We know the grind of training and playing. It can take a toll on your body, but thanks to Adjust in RV, we found a way to stay at the top of our game. They have our backs, literally. They've helped us improve our performance and keep us inspired for better health every day. So Hokie Nation, whether you're an athlete or just someone who wants to up their wellness game, check out Adjust in RV. You can find out more at www.adjustinrv.com. It's super easy to set up an account and book your first appointment completely online. Because when you feel your best, you can be your best. Thanks, Adjust in RV, for keeping us in the game. Go Hokies. Curse, your nods while I talk are just so awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. You're um, so yeah, now we just get into the chit-chat portion of the podcast, guys. We have nothing else really that we have to talk about, but... Well, um- we just want to talk to Karis a little bit. Chit chat with Karis. 
Yeah. So our first thing, we just thought maybe we could each give you some advice. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> I love this. <laughs> and it's kind of on the spot, so this is just like the first thing that comes into mind. Okay. I have something, but you can go. Oh, I have something. I got two things. Okay. Number one, don't let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. Mm -hmm. Play with no fear. Okay. And never, ever let the pressure get to you, babe. Just be free. Like, mm -hmm. I, I struggle with that all the time, pressure mm -hmm. and, like, expectations, but you just yeah. give it a double bird yeah. and move on with your life. Yeah. Mine is mainly... <laughs> this isn't really good advice, but <laughs> keep in mind, like, things seem really hard when everything is new. Yeah. But I promise you, like, the time is going to pass and oh you're going to be in our God. shoes and you're going to look... She farted again. <laughs> and you're going to... Oh, my God. I can smell it. It's really bad. <laughs> it. Guys, she's horrible. Oh, I do. It's really bad. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> it's really bad. Please. <laughs> She Anyways, like, yes, these four years have gone like crazy. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so the time flies and like yeah. you might be like dwelling on certain moments or like, I don't know, being stressed about certain things or anxious about certain things. But yeah. I promise you when you look back, it'll either be funny. Funny is. Like, oh it's probably going to be funny. It's probably going to be really funny. Like every single thing that we went through freshman year that was a failure I is just at. hilarious. Sophomore year. Oh my Even God. last year. Last year when I thought stuff hit the fan, I looked back and I'm like, that was actually... No, chuckle worthy. It's so easy to laugh at now, which is like, I don't know. Everything just seems like the biggest deal right now, but yeah. I swear it's not. And time passes and it won't matter anymore. I know. Um, what is so it? Yeah. Is it like the five rule or something like that? It's not going to matter in like five minutes, five weeks, five oh, months remember. or whatever it is. It's yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. That's not what we're stressing about. So that's my piece of advice. Um, okay. Now, Georgia, you can ask the next question. We have a little question about, you know, just, just Karis' thoughts on us before she got here. I want to know what she thought of us. Yeah. What were okay. you expecting, I guess? Or what did um, you think? So I was terrified of both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't, like, I saw you guys on TV. Like, you guys were, like, <laughs> celebrities to me. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I have to play with them next year. So I need to, like, <laughs> I was so scared coming in. I was like, are they going to think I'm weird? Are they going to think I'm funny? I don't know. So I met Georgia on my visit because I was watching her work out. And then she came up to me and she like made a little joke. I was laughing at it. It was hilarious. I thought <laughs> Georgia was really funny. Liz, I was really scared of you. <laughs> but guys, they're so nice. Like once you get to know them, they're literally the best people ever. But I was so scared. What about me scared? I feel like everyone's always scared of me. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Probably just because I'm not as, like, extroverted or, like, you have yeah. to guess a little bit more what yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. Georgia, like, walks into a locker room and, like, says whatever's on her mind immediately. <laughs> yeah. So, like, yeah, that's, like, that's Georgia. <laughs> but, like, Liz, I don't know. Liz, you're, like, a mother to me. Oh. Yeah. Liz How about is, like, big sister? Mom. Yeah, big sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. That's I so true. That. I think that's, a, yeah, that makes sense. I okay. Like that's, yeah. How are we different to what you expected, I guess? Like, did you think we we're going to be mean and we're not? Or like, yeah. You didn't think we were going to be mean? I No, I didn't think you were going to be mean. I was just like scared. I was like, I don't know what to expect. Because yeah. I know like other people, obviously I'm not going to name people, but other people at different schools, like they might be different, like leadership wise. So mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know how this is going to be, but they're like the best. Kayla, too, like, literally the best mentors yeah. ever. Like, I just went to Kroger with them, guys. <laughs> like, it was like, like, you wouldn't expect that. Like, <laughs> I'm a freshman, like, going to Kroger with, Karis, like... we literally went to Olive Garden, like, two weeks ago together. <laughs> guys, we, we, yeah. yeah. I love going everywhere with them. I, that was a big, that was a big shock to me freshman year, too, I think, when we came in and, like, Taj, Cole, and Lydia, like, we would go out to eat with them, and I was like, oh, my God, yeah. like, why do they want to even spend time with me? Yeah. Not that you should think that, but, because <laughs> it's just, like, I don't know. Obviously, like, yeah. you're our teammate, like, you're our friend in our eyes, and, like, yeah. a little sister also. Yeah. Um, That's so cute. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, I love going places with you guys. It's, oh. like, so cool. Like, sometimes I'm, like, I can't, like, act like a fan because I am on their team. I cannot so. even fathom you thinking like uh -oh. that. I can't uh -oh. fathom anyone thinking like that. I thought like that, like, for the first month I was here. Oh, I was my like, oh, my gosh. Like, my friends would be texting me, like, oh, my gosh, like, Georgia and Liz. Like, I see them <laughs> all over my 
for you page. I see them all over my Instagram. Like you're in the same locker room as I'm like, I know. That's crazy. <laughs> Did you listen to the podcast before you came here? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you still or no? Yeah, I still listen to it. I saw we saw Mackie the other day on the beanbag watching it. That was, it was so really cute. cute. Mac, I told her I was gonna be on the podcast today and she was so excited for me. Really? Oh, yeah. Did she win me? I feel Wait, like you today I was in film it. and this is how cute the freshmen are. Because obviously uh Gabby and Mackie are both red shirting. Now I'm calling them Mackie because now <laughs> Gabby and Mackie are both red shirting, but it was like in the fourth quarter and Clara got like a put. Oh, she got a rebound and she went back up and she got fouled. But Gabby and Mackie jumped in unison with their hands up. Like they were just so happy for Clara, even though she didn't hit like the shot or anything. They just like the moment they were in- anticipating, just like it yeah. got to them. Yeah, it was so cute. so cute. The freshman group is just so cute. Like I feel like you guys just ride for each other and support each yeah. other. Yeah. I'm so excited for the next four years with them. Ah, that was really cute. Oh, that's really sweet. Can you even believe that one of them is over? I'm sorry. No. Almost over. Almost over? Like, that's so crazy. It went by so fast. So it goes fast so for... fast. Like, like you're going to be, I don't know, even three years ahead might look like a long time to you, but I swear it goes not. like this. It's not. It's nothing. Yeah. Like Soak it all fast. in, babe. I know. And you're going to be gone soon. I know, but I'm going to come back. Oh, okay, God, good. I'm going to come back so good. much. I don't know if he'll be able to get rid of me. Good. Um, okay, next question is, what was the hardest thing about coming to Virginia Tech and adjusting to college life in general, like outside of basketball? Hmm. I would say for me, like academics weren't as bad because I went to a private school before, so it was mm-hmm. kind of similar. Um, I would say like dorm life is really like different because it's like you're around like I'm around athletes all the time my age and so obviously you could tell that that would be kind of a little bit of a mess Mm -hmm. all the time like there's a lot of running around the dorms and it's just crazy so I think like adjusting to that like we got here and we were all so nervous to like go to the performance center like that's where all the athletes eat like we me and Clara would not go like why I don't know like our first day like our parents were here and we were like do we have to go like to the performance center alone and they're like yeah like you guys need to go meet people and we just would not do it we were so scared why Why? i don't know like seeing all the athletes like in one like one area i love meeting you people that was was so fun yeah that was our that was the hardest thing me and claire had a had a tough time meeting people we would kind of just like sit in our rooms and like talk to each other because we knew each other before yeah right so oh yeah wait say who's on your team yeah i played with mac and clara in high school a we played i played a year i knew mac for two years but we weren't on the same team i was on the older team and then clara came our last year so Mm -hmm. i played a with them Okay. Yeah. Well, would you say that you've made more friends now? Like, how did that happen, I guess? Yeah, I would say now, like, I have, like, being in classes also, like, I meet so many people, and it's so fun and so cool. Like, I'm so close with, like, the dancers now. Mm-hmm. I love them. I hope they watch this. They're <laughs> so... I know Sarah does. Shout out, Sarah. I love them. Yeah, the high techs are the best. And then, like, also other athletes just in my dorm. Like, they'll be like, oh, I watched your game. Aww. Like, you did so well. So, it's so cool. I love athletes supporting athletes. Mm-hmm. That's so cute. Yeah, you guys got the new dorms and everything. <laughs> yeah, CID is so nice. It's like brand new and it's really nice. So I love living in the dorm now. But I think that was the hardest thing is just like meeting people and like getting out of my comfort zone. Yeah. I'm still working on it. No, but... it's like breaking the ice. Because I feel like yeah. once you do it like to a couple of people, and that, then you know that it's like. Yeah. I think when, like when you come in and you don't know anybody, you place pressure on yourself like with expectations yeah. and like how to naturally form a relationship. But like that's what it is. Like you naturally form relationships. Yeah. Like sometimes they just like come unexpectedly or like. Whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely. You want to ask the next question, Georgia? Yes, I will. Um, what was the hardest thing, like basketball wise, adjusting? Winnie is mm. having a snore fest right now. She's dreaming. She's, she's, so her, hard. she's kicking her leg. Um, but yeah, like high school basketball to college basketball, yeah. like what was the difference? Okay, I would say there's like a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would say the first thing is the pace. Like yeah. high school basketball is like not fast at all. Like I watch the games now and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is nothing compared to like the pace that we play at. Yeah. It's really fast. So that was something I had to adjust to. And then also I would say like being a senior on my team, like I had a lot of like expectation, like every game I had to have a good game or else like we weren't going to win. <sighs> And so now, like, coming here, I don't have that anymore. Yet. Yet. It comes. (laughs) Sooner than you think. (laughs) But, yeah. For you. I'm sorry. Not to make it about me. Yes. (laughs) 
it's okay. Um, so I think that was like, obviously like I'm, I want to be a sponge. That's like my biggest thing. I said that to coach Brooks, like, I just want to learn from like everyone, like on the team. Cause I know you guys have had your experiences being where oh I am. God. So that we have, yeah, mm-hmm. I just love to learn from them. And like, I think like before, like I was a little scared to like, like go up to them and ask a question or like ask advice. But like, even in the summer, like I would text them all the time and be like, what do I need to do? Like, what should I do about this? Like I'm having a tough time with this, like stuff like that. So I think like just switching like my mindset to like, you don't have to be like that anymore. How I was in high school where like there was so much pressure and I still put a lot of pressure on myself, but sometimes I forget I don't need to do that. I feel like that's just natural, though, like just being competitive and like yeah. a competitor and an athlete, like there's always going to be pressure. But yeah, it's yeah. just about comp- compartmentalizing and like dealing with it in like different ways. Yeah. Like for me, like this year, I realized like because I can get like so obsessed with like basketball. If I make it my whole life and personality, that's when I like severely start to crumble. So like I've had to find other things to like yeah. divvy my attention up to. So like when I go into basketball, it's like a clear mind. Yeah. Like, I'm not carrying any baggage. Yeah. No, definitely. Also, Karis, I just want to say that you're killing this right now. Really? You are. You are. Like, the oh, answer, well, you just, yeah. yeah like, nice. and I should have known this. because She's like, mature. We went, to, oh. we went to media together. Yeah, we went to yeah. media together. And no offense, baby, Clara. <laughs> like, Clara went with us. And she's, you know, she's awesome. And I yeah. know that she knows what. She knew she was awkward. She knows what she's Quiet. talking about. But, yeah, she kind of struggled a little bit, I think. Um, yeah, just nervous, but you know, Karis went later and she just absolutely killed it. Like, you know yeah. what you're talking about, and you're like confident, and you, I guess, get the point across very easily, yeah. and you're well spoken. Explanations are very good. Yeah, and yeah. thorough. Like, I don't know, my hardest. Oh, what? No. My hardest thing for media when I was, I was gonna say when I was a kid, um, when <laughs> I was a freshman was like not giving like short answers. Like, yeah, you have to learn kind of how to elaborate and tell yeah. a story a little bit. Yeah. And you've like already got that. Did you do media in high school? I actually never did media in high school. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I knew the answer, but I just didn't, didn't had to lay it out. I know. I didn't think, when do you think I forgot? Because I asked you that before. <laughs> but yeah. for the people. That was my first time. I was so scared. And you did I so good. Nervous. Were you there? Not. Oh, I got the sack. <laughs> Cheating. Like, Karis took a spot. Karis is coming for Georgia. She comes to my throat. <laughs> stepping on my throat. Speaking Never. of throats, what's your favorite restaurant in Blackburn? <laughs> <laughs> I was really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the face I gave. Because <laughs> I'm I'm not going to lie. I saw that question. I've been thinking about 622 chicken Caesar tacos for the last 20 minutes. I'm not going to lie right now. I know. I've really been thinking about them. Really. I've, wait, have you been there? Have you been yeah, to 622? Yeah. 622? 622 North? <laughs> yes, you have. Did you have. Like go there once? Yeah. Yes, because it's oh, yeah. I keep yeah, asking you questions I know the answer to. <laughs> I have been Anyways, there that place is just magnificent. But yeah. what's your favorite place? <laughs> Elrod. Oh yeah, Elrod Dizzle. <laughs> we've, we've brought her up so well. Yeah, Elrod. You guys. Is the best. I remember in the summer we went for the first time and none of us would speak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I remember that? Yes. yes. I remember the table. I remember where everyone was sitting. Now we go there and like pa- yeah. after every win. Yeah. You, you my, you, we would find us at PKs or Elrods depending on the night. Yeah. Usually Thursdays it's PK, Sundays it's Elrods. I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, one or the other, you can't go wrong. It depends um, on whose family's here. Because if the family's here, we're going to PKs. But if it's like an away game. Like it's away games, we go to Elrods. Yeah, but you, like away games on Sundays because we play early. Like we can't go to. It's cookout on Thursdays. <laughs> on away games. <laughs> on a, like 2 a.m., I'm getting a chicken case deal. <laughs> on Thursday night. Oh my god, no. Pushing them together, eating Guys, them as one. This yeah. Thursday, we play at 8. We're literally getting back at 2. Yeah. Yeah. Is it two? My no, because my it's gonna be later. Gonna be later I swear, later. because my German teacher today, she was like, "Are you gonna come to class on Friday?" I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "Well, the travel letter letter that they sent out just said that you were gonna be back like early morning." I'm like, "Yeah, I need to pass this class, babe." She also asked me a question in German, and she was like asking me, and I was like, "Wow." She was like asking how many if I scored this many points yesterday or something like mm. that. She was like clarifying it, and I was like putting the words together. I was like, "Oh," she was like. Paid oh, attention. That's sweet. That was really sweet. Did but she, it just took me a minute. Did she watch our games or did she just keep up with you? I think she, well, I don't know. She's made a few comments. So I believe that she would have to at least keep up. Yeah, for sure on the news. Yeah. She said that my king, my head injury was on the news. <laughs> that's so cute. That's hilarious. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Back to basketball a little bit. Karis, yeah. we have to know, were you nervous playing for Soldout Castle? We've done it a few times uh, so far this year. Yeah. How was that? 
my the high point game was my first game. Oh, I forgot how big of a bro that was. That was because wow. we had AZ Network though, or something like that. We yeah. had the table of the girls. We had Miss Kelly. Speaking of, when we're at the Syracuse game, the announcer next to me because I did post game interview. He was like, "Kelly's been telling me like you you have you're watching you're doing the girls game. Like I got to get back on their podcast. So we have to get Kelly back on. Yeah, we do have to get Kelly on. Kelly's the best. Kelly's the best. Anyway, um, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. High <sighs> point was crazy i was so nervous i like walked out and they were doing the like the uh, and, yeah. and it was like everyone and i was like whoa <laughs> like i can't believe i'm on the court right now like <laughs> this is so weird and then it was lit. i hit a shot in that game and it like went crazy like it was so loud and i was like i don't even know what just happened <laughs> but it was so, so cool at fun. least you hit a shot yeah i was i was a little did you not? no I, n- yeah i did no i'm, I'm just saying no, I'm just saying, like, like at least you hit a shot to be, like, celebrated yeah, for. Like, that's yeah. the best thing. Yeah, that was so crazy. That was crazy. And then the NC State game was, like, that was even crazier. Because that was, like, a really like an ACC. That was crazy. And you had big minutes in that game. How did yeah. that feel to be, like, I don't know. Wait, would you think that was, like, your best personal game? I would say NC State, yeah. That was, yeah. I mean, like, LIU, like, I had a good I had a solid game. Yeah, that game. you can say good, Karis. <laughs> I had a good game. Okay, here's my <laughs> advice. Here's my advice. Ready? When stuff goes good, soak it up, because stuff's gonna go bad at some point, sure. and you're gonna reflect back on the good parts and be like, "Damn, I wish I like that's soaked so it up." That's my issue, that's, babe. No, that's so like after the game on Thursday. I don't know. You you really have to soak it in and remind soak yourself up. why you are where you are, yeah. mm-hmm. how you got here, mm-hmm. how you've maintained. Because once something goes something wrong, bad you happens, get so in your head about it. Oh my god! So enjoy the good you moments. Forget about all the good things that you do. So yeah, she had a good game against LIU. I had a good game against LIU, and yeah, then what? Wait, I don't even remember what I was saying. NC State. NC State, State. Being, being in the big moment. Oh like, yeah, being in that part. game was like so. It was like unreal. Like I was saying to Liz and Carly after the game, like. I couldn't even be nervous because there was so much going on. Mm. So I couldn't even like, overwhelmed. Think. Yeah, I was so overwhelmed. Like I couldn't even like think about being nervous. And then after the game, I just crashed in my bed. Mm. Like I laid down and I was like, like, I don't even know how I felt. I was like, <laughs> like sick. And then I was like really energetic. Like I was like, I don't know what is happening. Like that's because after wait, game. We went to Elrod's after that game. So yeah. Did you come? I did. Okay, good. Yeah, but like before Elrod's, like I had to lay down for a little bit. <laughs> Like my head was spinning. Like yeah. I could hear like it's all like, the screams. It's like you come home from a concert. That's yeah. what it feels like. Like dehydrated, dizzy yeah. head. Like yeah, like, banging head. Yeah, oh physically, my God. mentally, emotionally exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. Exhausted. Like my ears were still ringing from like all the screaming. Which but is it was, awesome. It was so cool. Like I would like go back on Instagram, watch Liz's Liz's <laughs> game point, winner. Game winner. This is it point. <laughs> this is one point. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Liz's, Liz's game winner like a hundred times. So fun. Oh like, my gosh. There's nothing like playing in Castle, guys. There's so I pack just, it out for the last couple of games. Oh yeah. my god, please. 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 Yeah. I will I would do anything. Me too. I would do anything if yeah. you guys just come and pack it out. I have faith. I thought of one more good question, and hopefully this isn't TMI, but I'm genuinely curious. Like, how do you go about mentally navigating like, I guess, going into a game not yeah. knowing if you're going to play yeah. one minute or 20 minutes yeah. or whatever. Like, how does that feel personally? Um, I would say for every game, I just go in, like, the same way. Like, I, I obviously know that, like, whatever happens, happens, and, like, I'm completely okay with it. But I would say, like, I'm always staying ready on the bench. Like, Coach Hicks always tells me to just, like, stay ready because mm-hmm. you never know. Like, Kayla will, mm-hmm. like – like tap me like anyone will tap me and be like stay ready stay ready so like I always like stay locked in and I'm always like energetic on the bench ready to go so I would say that's how I like just like focus and like I'll just like watch what's going on to like if if Tilly's out there because Matilda is a three so I'll usually watch her and see like that's cool. oh is she like guarding like what is she, what is her man doing like what's going on out there like what what are they running are they like fast are they Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I would just say that's that really smart. That's really, really smart. that's really smart of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, I would say I do that because I don't want to like be caught off guard and then like get in the game and like look like a deer in headlights. Yeah. So <laughs> how does it feel like? Have you ever not got in the first half and then got in the second half? Does that happen? Yeah, I, I, I think it has. How does it feel like you... physically? Like, do you get really cold and then have to like? She's a freshman. She doesn't feel cold. 
Oh, you don't get cold. I'm kidding. That was a joke. <laughs> um, no, I actually don't really like feel cold. Like don't. you don't get stiff. We have one That's time awesome. out. We have one time out. I have to do a little quad stretch on the way back out to the pool. Literally, I have to pull my legs. I have to do like a little bit of a groin tug. Yeah, no, I don't really get like cold. Like if I'm like sitting, you can just come out. You can sit for 40 minutes and come out and shoot a three. Yeah, that's wow. awesome. <laughs> and I feel like fine. Wow, I congratulate. I'm so you. happy for you. Thank you guys. Thank of course. You. Yeah, no worries. Well, I think that's been a pretty solid pretty good. episode with Karis Baker, you guys. Um, I don't know. It was about time that we had you on. Yeah. Those weeks since you've been listening. That's so cute. Yeah, I have been listening. Like, I love you for that. Seriously. I love you guys. We we best. we might bring, you know, Claire on, but she might just have to work on her answers a bit. We might have to give her a script. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to. Right. Yeah, she doesn't give us much um Claire. ever. That's okay. That's just Does who she, she is. listen? Probably not. Um no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Clara, if you actually listen to the clip, I'll tell her to listen to it, but don't no. listen to that, Clara. <laughs> We love no, we love everything. This is jokes, guys. Yeah. Don't get oh we God. have banter. You think we would actually say this if we didn't like her? I do not let no, I'm kidding. I love, so love her. There is hilarious. She's so funny. Wow. She's she she won't hear this because she doesn't listen, so Anywho. Maybe Mackie can show Mac, her. Mac Thanks, Mac. Will, Mac will come to her room and tell her. <laughs> we can get Mackie on as well. Yeah. We could do that? we could do them at the same time. Mackie yeah. Claire. Yeah. Claire will just sit there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. We'll make her talk. That's funny. Okay, guys, this has been a great episode. We have the Louisville NC State game to watch in 30 minutes, so it's time to sign off. We're making tacos. Wait, are you staying? Or are you going to leave? Oh, um, you're going with Claire. I'm going with Claire for dinner. Good for you. You're so oh. loyal. I love you. It's yeah. time to officiate, officially recognize Karis as a queen. Oh, yeah, you're a queen. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Are you ready? Do you know how to do it? No. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm going to just say I'm going to say I'm curious. I'm oh, here. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do you, do you stay all the way till the end? Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, guys, I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. And I'm Karis. And we're Queens, Queens of Castle. Of Castle. <laughs>